and welcome to a custom uh, Hero Factory figure review. Um, I'm going to review these Hero Factory figures in the way that they came out. So I'm going to start with Storm and Bulk and Stringer. Uh, now the reason I'm doing this is because, well, I'm going to make an announcement very soon. And it involves Hero Factory. It involves it heavily and a franchise related. So first of all we start off with Preston Stormer. Now I've given Preston Stormer um, two guns here. A bit, it's inspired a lot by Captain Rex and Clan Commanders with um, Double blasters. I kind of think it'll be nice for Stormer. And then the help. Then this is um, a shoulder cannon or a cannon that can go round his waist and fire like so. Uh, inspired by Transformers Armada Megatron. Um, the parts I needed were Stormer 1.0. Stormer 2.0 and Stormer 3.0. Next we have um, Bulk. Now Bulk I've decided to give can on his uh, arm. It works as well as a blade. And the same with this. Um, this was actually inspired by Evo's breakout uh, tank cannon it's not evo's tank cannon it's still more of a uh, cannon um really taking the name really living up to the name bulk uh, i actually used bulk 3.0 and breakout bulk i know no i had two bulks i had uh 1.0 bulk and breakout bulk. Next we have the most complicated one, um stringer. I might actually modify this one a bit. Uh so this stringer was originally inspired by uh Brawl from Transformers the the uh, Cybertron version of Brawl because he has tank cannons and then we have double and can also be used on his uh, hands as well uh, because he's got a western accent I thought it would be nice for um, him to be inspired by a cowboy and brawl so uh, so that's it, and the parts I used were 3.0 and um, breakout. Uh, and that ends our review. Uh, so the clue I gave at the start was um, it involves Hero Factory. Now I want you all to guess what it is. By the time I've finished, um, I hope you can all guess. Mm, yeah.